The first part of this video is going to be me making muffins. And then at the end, I'm going to add in some pictures that we took last week. We need some help identifying some plants. Hello, guys. It's Carol. How are you? Um, I'm about to make caramel apple muffins or caramel, however you want to pronounce it. Caramel apple mu muffins is what I'm going to say. These are my dry ingredients. I'm going to whisk that together. And then in this bowl, I'm going to put a cup of milk, two teaspoons of vanilla, and an egg, and a fourth a cup of butter. Casey's cutting the apple for me. We need one cup of diced apple. It said a tart apple, so I got a Granny Smith. And then that is the caramel bits. Here's my batter mixed up. It didn't say to beat with a mixer, so I just used a whisk. Now I'm going to add the apples and the caramel bits. It said to use half a bag of the caramel bits. I didn't know how much that would be, so I measured it. It was exactly two cups. And then I needed, needed one cup of diced apple. It took all of one apple except for this much. We had more than we could use for the muffins. And so I have this five inch pan a friend sent me. I'm gonna put the rest of the batter in here and just bake it like a little cake. And I'm not ready to put them in the oven. You have to make a topping out of brown sugar, butter, oats, and cinnamon to put on top. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, this is my topping ingredients. Melted butter, cinnamon, brown sugar, and oatmeal. I'll put the measurements in the description. These were really good. However, Casey and I did not care for that topping. It was just too much sugar. Casey was given a plant by a lady that was moving. We don't know what this is. Um, do you guys have any idea? I was given this plant Obviously, it doesn't need direct sun. She had left these out on her balcony when she knew she was leaving. And a bunch of the leaves just turned black. So I uh, cut those off. This is what the leaves look like. I'm thinking this might be a cast iron plant. Do you think that's what it is? This is a photograph they had up out at the corn maze. This was taken um, how you see it from the air. The green is the corn stalks, and that beige, all those beige lines, that is the trail. You enter down at that rectangle in the bottom right-hand corner, and then you immediately have to choose to go left or go up. Casey said the trails were about four feet wide. They could all three walk side by side. So you can picture how big this corn maze was. This is like the lower two thirds. I couldn't get the upper third in the to show up. But anyway, those lines are all about four feet wide. So you can tell how huge <laughs> that corn maze was and why the kids in case he decided to turn around and go back. <laughs> The trails spell out Maxwell's 15 years. There's a windmill and a barn and two silos, a cowboy hat and some pumpkins that the trail lines form. I think it would have been a lot of fun, but obviously you could stay in that corn maze for hours <laughs> before you get to the end. That's why Taylor said you could just barrel straight through the corn. You're going to come out eventually. <laughs> This is a yucca. We were sitting at sitting at a street light and this yucca was growing like right outside my window. It was probably I'm going to say at least 6 feet tall if not more. The flowers are the yellow things at the top. The bottom, the green part, those are sharp <laughs> like a razor like a knife they're they're really sturdy <laughs> um i've never touched the flower part of a yucca because i can't get through the bottom part because it's so sharp 
But anyway, that's what a yucca looks like, the kind that grow out here. It's the state flower for New Mexico. This one's a Texas growing one, though. You know, I told you about Max yesterday. Max is the dog on the far left. The little black schnauzer in the middle is Gracie, and next is Zoe. When I worked, um, my driveway ended right at this gate and when I would pull up in the driveway they would be standing there waiting for me to get home they could hear my car coming I'm sure and ran up there it was it was such a pleasant sight to see when I got off work knowing my three babies were just standing out there waiting for me okay guys I think that's it for today let me know what's going on with you guys leave me a comment I love them thank you bye bye you know, I always add something to the end. This is a pill box I got from Dollar Tree. Each little compartment screws on to the next one. Taylor was doing a craft pot project and she needed something to put her little beads in that she could divide by color. So she used this thing. I thought those of you that do diamond paintings or shakers or some kind of craft might find that a useful thing too. Okay, this is the end. I'm really leaving. Let me know how you guys are. Bye-bye.